In this video, I am going to solve three problems from chapter 11, Rolling Torque and Angular Momentum. First question. A solid ball of radius 6 cm is initially rolling smoothly at 10 m per second along a horizontal floor. So you have to see the figure. And here, this solid ball is rolling smoothly, all right? So this solid ball is rolling smoothly in the horizontal uh, floor with the speed. What is the speed of the ball? The speed of the ball, they mention as 10 meter per second. And then it rolls smoothly up a ramp. So what is the ramp? So this, this is a ramp, all right? Initially, the ball is moving in the horizontal floor with the speed. What is the speed of the ball in the horizontal floor? The speed of the ball is exactly 10 meter per second. And the radius of the ball, what is the radius of the ball? The radius of the ball is 6 centimeter. And this ball is moving with the speed in the horizontal floor. And after that, it enters the ramp, up the ramp. Am I right? So when it up the ramp, what happens? Once it reaches certain height, this ball stops. That means when it reaches the height, what happened? The final speed is zero. By the time it reaches some maximum height, so what we are going to find from this question, we are going to find what should be the maximum height above the floor does it reach? Which one? The ball reach. Clear? So that means we are going to find the value of this height. So if you want to solve this question, we have to use a law of conservation of energy. What is law of conservation of energy states? The law of conservation of energy states, loss in kinetic energy, which is equal to a gain in potential energy. So here, the kinetic energy is nothing but, it's a rolling kinetic energy, am I right? So it has both translation as well as rotation. So what, what I have, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to write the law of conservation of energy according to, according to law of conservation of energy a loss in rolling kinetic energy a loss in a rolling kinetic energy which is equal to a gain in a gravitational potential energy clear so when it moves in the horizontal floor it has the kinetic energy what kinetic energy a rolling kinetic energy once it reaches the ramp up the ramp what happened once it reaches the maximum height what happens by the time the rolling kinetic energy is lost and by that it is gaining the gravitational potential energy so we know the formula for rolling kinetic energy as well as the potential energy what is the formula for rolling kinetic energy in this chapter we studied in the theory the rolling kinetic energy is the combination of the kinetic energy for the rotation as well as the kinetic energy for the translation. So for the rotation, it's a combination, am I right? So for the rotation, the rotational kinetic energy, that means rotational kinetic energy plus translational kinetic energy, right? Translational kinetic energy which is equal to the gravitational potential energy, which is nothing but MGH. We already studied this rule, am I right? So now I'm going to write the formula for rotational kinetic energy, and then I'm going to write the rule for translation kinetic energy, then I'm going to write the formula for the gravitational potential energy. So what is the formula for kinetic energy rotation, which is half I omega square for this one, and then for the translation kinetic energy, half m v square and then the gravitational potential energy formula is m g h right so now i'm going to substitute the value here and i'm going to find the value of this height that is our main aim we are going to find the value of this height but before that we have to see because we know what is the mass of the ball is the mass of the ball is given here is not given because it will be cancel each other Am I right? Because left hand side also we are going to have the mass, right hand side also we are going to have the mass. That means the mass has no issue here. But the most important thing, we have to consider what is the moment of inertia for the rolling sphere. So we already studied in chapter number 10, we have the moment of inertia 
formula for different shape object so in this question they said solid ball actually the solid ball is nothing but a solid sphere so when i am going to solve if if you want to solve this question what you have to do when you want to substitute if you want to substitute the value of this i you i is nothing but the moment of inertia right so that means i have to check this formula because this formula is for the solid sphere solid sphere is nothing but a solid ball am i right so i am going to take this 2 over 5 m r square in this place and then for this omega square i am going to write the rule for the relation between the linear speed as well as the uh, uh, rotational speed am i right angular speed so once you substitute the formula for the moment of inertia and then once you apply the rule for the relation between the linear speed and the angular speed we can easily find the answer for the height so i am going to use this formula in this place of i because why because we are using the solid ball so for that i have to use the moment of inertia for the solid ball so what is the formula for the solid ball moment of inertia the solid ball moment of inertia solid ball formula is 2 over 5 m r square this is the rule clear and also omega what is omega we already studied v which is equal to r omega the relation between the linear speed and the angular speed so from this i am going to reform this equation in terms of angular speed because i have to change this am i right so what i am going to do therefore omega which is equal to v over r so in place of omega in place of this omega i am going to apply this rule in place of i i am going to substitute this formula so once you substitute we can easily find the answer for this height so let's we substitute the value one by one so what is the formula half in place of i i am going to use this formula what is the formula 2 over 5 m r square clear right multiply by and we have omega also so we we know the rule for the omega omega which is equal to v over r so therefore omega square which is equal to v square over r square right plus half m v square which is equal to the gravitational potential energy m g h now i'm going to cancel the same term because here we have two here also we have two so i can cancel right and also here we have r square here also we have r square i can cancel so now i'm going to write the remaining terms what are the remaining terms we have in this we have 1 over 5 m v square right plus half m v square which is equal to m g h i am going to take m v square or i am going to take mv square as a common term so if you take mv square as a common term what you have here we have the term exactly 1 over 5 plus 1 over 2 which is equal to mgh so i can cancel 1m in the left hand side as well as in the right hand side clear and now what are the remaining terms we have so i am going to take the lcm for this because here we have 1 over 5 plus 1 over 2 right so that means i am going to take the lcm as 10 so this will become if you take lcm as 10 it is 10 2 that means 2 plus 5 right and here we have v square and in the right hand side we have g multiplied by h so if you add these 2 plus 5 we will get v square multiplied by 7 over 10 which is equal to g multiplied by h and now we are going to find the value of h so again you have to rearrange this equation in terms of height so better i'm going to rewrite this equation here therefore height which is equal to this g will come to the left hand side of the denominator by that your equation becomes v square over g multiplied by 7 over clear and we have all the terms what is the speed of the ball initially because when the ball is moving in the horizontal floor it moves with a speed of 10 m per second right because which is already given in the question right so i am going to and g value what is the value of the g acceleration due to gravity is 
9.8 meter per second square. So I'm going to substitute the value here. So therefore, the final answer H, which is equal to 10 square over 9.8 multiplied by 7 over 10. So what should be the answer here? So here the 10, we can cancel one here. I'm right. So the remaining term is 70 over 9.8. So if you divide if you divide this 70 over 9.8, you'll get the value of h. So what's the answer here? 70 over 9.8. I got the answer as 7.14. What's the answer? 7.14, and the unit is meter. Clear? This is the answer for the first question. So what are the things we used here? The most important thing. In the first part, we are using, first of all, please try to bring the diagram into your mind. Because in this question, they didn't give the, uh, the they, they did not mention any diagram. But if you saw the diagram, you will get some idea. So what is given in the first part? They said the ball is rolling in the horizontal floor with a speed of 10 meter per second. After that, it enters the ram and it reaches the maximum height. After that, it stops. And we are going to find how much the ball reached the maximum height. That is our main aim right and if you want to find the value of the h we are using the law of conservation of energy which is nothing but the loss in rolling kinetic energy which is equal to gain in gravitational potential energy so rolling kinetic energy has ro two kinetic energy what are they kinetic energy for the rotation as well as the kinetic energy for the translation and then we know the formula for the rotational kinetic energy which is half i omega square so in this i we are using the formula for the solid sphere. So what is the formula for the solid sphere? The formula for the solid sphere, because the ball is a solid ball, because ball is in the shape of sphere. So that's what we are using this formula here. And also we are using the formula for the relation connecting the linear speed as well as the angular speed. So by that, I'm, I'm, I just rearrange this equation here in terms of angular speed. And then I take the value of this omega, I substitute here. I took the value of this moment of inertia for the solid ball, I substitute here. And after that, I rearrange that equation, I cancel some like term. And finally, we got the answer of the height. That means this is nothing but the ball reached the maximum height. So that means the, the ball reached 7.14 meters. So if you see the diagram, how much height the ball reached? The ball reached the height of 7.14 meter. Clear? So this is the answer. Clear?